got a slight change of plan on the layout for the power supply. I've got these two slightly overkill um, sized little terminal blocks. And in order to get them to sit nicely on the on the back end, I'm gonna have to move the transformer over a little bit. Which isn't the end of the world. So this one is gonna have the primary coil connected to it, and that will allow me to take or connect um, the incoming AC supply and secondaries. I'll just take in here rather than soldering these two together I'll just use this extra terminal I've got here to connect the two up and then if I want to take it off I can. Um, into the bridge rectifier with the the two secondaries then connected up, out of the bridge rectifier, into the capacitors, across the capacitors and then down into the terminal block and then you can attach then the DC out to the bottom one which will mean the whole thing is modular, it's not all tied down to the rest of the system and I can take the whole thing out if I want to. So that's the plan. A bit of explanation. This this transformer has got one primary coil and two secondary coils, and the secondary coils, sort of the primary coils, are um, here. These two, this blue and and brown wire uh, running in here. So there, I've got um, a terminal point to be able to connect um, the line and the neutral. Um, from the from the mains AC 
He's then got two secondaries that I'm wiring together um, in series. Um, so that's that's what these the orange and the red are doing. They're just connecting together here, and then the other end of the secondaries is this yellow and this black. Um, so one secondary is is two is two of those wires, and the other one the other one. So they're in series. So then in series, then those two secondaries are acting as as one secondary. Um, and they go into the AC terminals on the bridge rectifier. Then from the bridge rectifier, there's then the positive and negative um, DC out, um, but the DC out is obviously coming out with um, a lot of ripple in it um, from, from the AC. So that's then smoothed by um, connecting it to a series of um, capacitors wired in parallel um, so here I've soldered them on and then put a bit of glue uh, hot glue over the top um, to just act as a bit of insulation um, so these then positive and negative connecting you've got to make sure particularly important with um, capacitors um, is to make sure you connect them the right way around so on to watch um, and then out of there then, this is the, the DC out, um, and then just while I'm testing this, I think the, the drivers will discharge the capacitors, but again, these capacitors will be holding a lot of charge, um, and just for, for safety really, um, I've got a little resistor just to allow them to discharge, because otherwise they'd hold their charge for a, for a long time. So I'll get it connected up, and then I'll, I'll show you. To the Incoming mains is coming in via this um, miniature circuit breaker, a D-curve miniature circuit breaker so it can handle the inrush current. Um, and I'll take a reading first on the um, on the voltmeter, uh, set to AC. Um, oops, put that there. So the AC voltage I'm getting here is, if I switch this on, let's try and do this so you can still see it. So the AC incoming voltage is about 243 volts. And then out of the secondary getting about 56 volts now obviously that varies depending on the turns ratio you have in your transformer this is very specific to this one but it shows you the the changes that occur through the circuit right next <clears throat> I'm just going to connect up the AC um, to the bridge rectifier so there's two AC terminals on one of these little bridge rectifier modules and then there's a positive and a negative DC out so I'm not going to connect the capacitors I'm just I've just connected into the two AC terminals and then when we switch on we can take a measurement then from the positive and negative terminals on here. Hang on, it's not right. Make sure we switch that onto DC and then take a reading off the positive and negative terminals, and we're getting about 50 volts. And that's because we the bridge rectifier there's a bit of a voltage drop over the across the bridge rectifier right finally we'll connect up the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative just 
just double check that. It's super important to get uh, the capacitors connected the right way around. Right, now that's the complete system um, wired together. So when we switch this on now, now the capacitors are smoothing the output from the from the bridge rectifier and all of the the troughs in between the 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 rectified current that's coming in or lumpy if you like um, it's getting it's getting smoothed um, and those troughs are all uh, being kind of brought up level um, so that increases the the voltage you actually see so when I take a measurement now 77 volts now you'll see that this discharges quite slowly across that um, little 10k resistor I've got there when I switch off So I'll take a couple of minutes now to discharge all of those capacitors until they're down to virtually zero again. So a few minutes passed and you can see now it's dropped down to 24 volts. But it's important to remember that once those capacitors are charged up that they will store that charge for a long period of time and they'll discharge it very quickly um, so that's why I've got the resistor connected across while I'm um, while I'm building this um, because without anything to discharge the capacitors um, if you short it out the terminals you get a, a nasty shock now there's already several really good videos on YouTube that explain what's going on here uh, with these various readings that you get at different parts of the circuit but very very simply and briefly um this is this is my super simple understanding and like i say this is not a tutorial it's a build log but um just for anybody who's too impatient to to go and uh, look elsewhere um a quick explanation so ac voltage is something of a sine wave doing that um a voltmeter like this, when it's set at AC, is not measuring the peak to peak um, voltage. It's measuring the root mean square voltage, which is between something like that. And that is 1.414. Um, you, you multiply um, this this voltage reading by that to get this. So when we measured 243 volts, we were measuring 243 volts between here and here. But the peak to peak would be 243 times the root mean square. So that would be 1.414 times 2, 4, 3, which is 343 volts between there and there. Right, then once that was rectified, these stop on the positive side but the negative ones they get flipped over so you still got this lumpy bumpy voltage but this guy at the bottom is no longer there he's up here now when we bring in the capacitors the capacitors start to once once it starts to want to drop off down uh, into this little valley um, it starts discharging 
um, and infilling the valleys with charge as they discharge and that starts to smooth everything off you still get some ripple but it does start to smooth everything off but because we've infilled some of these that root mean square value um, instead of just being this bit um, it, it actually hikes up so we, once we'd once we've been through the um, through the transformer um, which had brought the, the voltage down from 243 to 55 that 55 then once it had been through the capacitors um, and, and these troughs had got filled in um, then went up to 77 or whatever it was which again should be 55 times 1.414 so in the theoretical world it should be 77 volts so it does kind of work so my super simple explanation as to what's going on so I'm almost finished um, with this now there's a couple of things left to do um, one I'm going to put some uh, zip ties on just to, to clamp the little holders uh, around the capacitors um, and also the bridge rectifier can get quite warm while it's uh, while it's doing all its rectifying um, so that's uh, it's mounted onto this um, this aluminium plate which should act as a nice heat sink um, but I've got some um, heat sink it's called heat sink plaster um, to put on there as well to make sure it's connected nicely the heat dissipates well um, so I've got those couple of jobs left to do and then should be basically finished <laughs>